I wanted to do an intro to this video because when I was in the trench, it was really hard to see the catch basin. So this is a one gallon catch basin. You have a line coming in and a line going out. Now we were connecting two downspouts. We we're only able to get one catch basin in. When you're in a situation like that, you want to go to a two gallon catch basin. This is a one gallon. So we have a four-way connect catch basin that we use for many, many things. We really like this catch basin. It does a lot of really cool things. But in this case, what we're trying to do, because we can only put in one catch basin, we want to double the amount of shingle gravel that we can catch and hold. So if we cap off the bottom, because again, you can connect four lines to this catch basin. That's how it's built. But if you cap them off, see, it's capped off. Now, this entire bottom of the catch basin becomes a sump. It'll hold two gallons of sediment and shingle gravel. A line coming in, a line going out. So let me take you to the video. This is something that's really common. You have two downspouts, and you're going to have some boxwood hedges, some U hedges, some really nice landscape and you're trying to come up with a place to put the catch basin and by the time you get out to where you can put a catch basin you're on two downspouts what do you do when you have two downspouts and you're going to use one catch basin for two downspouts you want to use a really deep catch basin that holds a lot of shingle gravel so this is our four-way connect catch basin the guys just cap off the bottom and then they go ahead and run their line through the top this is two gallons of shingle gravel and sediment. So use the four-way connect catch basin in a case like this anytime that you have two downspouts merging together into one catch basin, make sure it's really deep, really big, has a lot of volume, can handle the debris and the shingle gravel that comes off of two downspouts. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions about yard drainage, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.